Are we gonna be good? Oh no, oh my God, Jesus. So today I gotta start off the video by explaining some things that have happened since the last episode because bad things have happened. Really bad things. Make sure that you guys hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does help me out and I do appreciate it. So the first thing that happened is basically our, our little thatch hut somehow got, got broken. I don't even know how. Thatch is the strongest structure in the world. I don't even understand how it actually got broken. It doesn't make any sense. Somehow a dire bear broke it. I don't, I feel like it's a glitch. I might have to contact Wildcard about this one because seriously, unraidable thatch, it should not be raided. But uh, yeah, the glitch happened, it got broken. So I went ahead and made a new house. It took me a while to find a spot that I actually liked enough and a spot that is also flat enough to build a nice little house on. But uh, I went ahead and built this. It's very nice. I just started kind of building a circle and then just took a chunk out of it. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And it took me freaking ages to build because yeah, we, we don't have any like utility teams at all. Another thing that happened is that I realized why I could not see the creatures names and why the spyglass wasn't working because I've been getting comments from people telling me like hey like that's not the same on my server and I was like oh really I somehow managed to uh accidentally turn this off I don't even know how maybe it's off by default I really doubt it but basically uh when Genesis came out my whole arc settings and everything just com got completely wiped for some reason I think it happened to everybody to be fair but uh obviously when I was going through all these I accidentally hit that one and uh that's really unfortunate so now I feel like an idiot but Thank you guys for helping me out just a little bit. So the next thing that happened I have on recording, we tamed a new Ferox. Enjoy. <gasps> oh my God, hello. Hello, little male level 174 Ferox. Okay, hang on. Let's get around here and, and knock it out. Uh, how many hits was it probably gonna take? Around three, I would assume. Oh my God, no, don't, no, no. Where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. They're so hard to see, man. This is so silly. Okay, wait, wait, one more. Hey, it's out. Awesome. Okay, hang on. Let's go ahead and feed this thing. My God, we got some really nice colors. All right, there you go, bud. Okay, come on. You're still, you're gonna eat that, right? They haven't patched this yet, have they? <laughs> there we go. Oh my God. Oh yes. Okay. This is awesome, because uh, obviously we lost our one in the last episode, so this is very much needed. Uh, we've probably, we're probably going to lose one level, so it's going to be a 259, maybe, I think. Hey, there we go. Yeah, 259. Amazing. Okay. Hello, little guy. Oh my god, this one's really nice looking. Is that like, what color is that on the back? It looks really cool. Oh my god, I like this one. This one's so much better than the last one that we had anyway, in terms of color. Oh man, all right. Well, yes, we're gonna need an awesome name for this thing. I did see quite a few good names in the last episode uh, where we got where we got our first one. So um, I don't know, maybe I'll take a name from there or if you have something new, let me know. Uh, but yeah, um, where, where the hell do I go to get out of here again? Uh, around this way. So now we have our beautiful little Ferox and I absolutely love him. He is very, very cool. Love the colors. I, I want to keep him safe and and I want I, I want him to survive. I want him to be the one who survives. It looks as if he almost has like red in his ears. It looks really, really nice, man. I love this thing. All right, so I went ahead and killed myself so we can see which one of these skins is the coolest on the Ferox. The Reaper looks okay, but I feel like we can find a better one. Bulb Dog looks pretty funny, actually. Axeman would like that. Oh my god, that's just not okay. That's also the Corrupted skin, not the Homodeus skin. What the hell happened? Okay, well, this one just apparently doesn't even work. Ooh, I like that. That looks kind of cool, actually. If we if we maybe dyed that, that would look even cooler. Oh my god. <laughs> that's hilarious looking, but I hate the way the bottom of it looks there. That looks really silly. If only that bit wasn't there, it would look even better. Okay, well, no, that's just not okay. Oh my God, the eyes. No, the eyes looking through is the creepiest freaking thing in the world. I don't like that. That's so scary looking. Okay, well, that, that just kind of looks hilarious with the ears and the mask, but nah. Also a no, but pretty cool looking. Oh my God, yes, that looks pretty cool, but it doesn't cover the full eyes, unfortunately. I still do like it though. We could dye those like cyan. Okay, the party hat's just freaking adorable. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, uh, I feel like that's going to be a contender for the winner. Okay, well, it seems to keep the hat and the glasses, so that's interesting. Okay, yeah, that one's pretty good too, actually. <laughs> okay, I don't really like that one very much, but it's nice. Um, You know what? If we dyed that to the same color as his fur, I think that would actually look really crazy. Four arms, four ears. Oh, man. Okay, the top hat's just gigantic on this thing for some reason, but I love it. I really do. Witch's hat is kind of messed up, but I like it besides that. If it sat a little higher, that would look cool, but it just doesn't look right. Oh, I like that one. Ooh, I like that one. I feel like I prefer the hunter skin, though. I feel like I prefer this one. This one, I feel like might be the best one. I don't know. I, I also kind of think I might be missing some of them. I don't really know, but I should have all of them unlocked. Uh, either way... Uh, I think we're going to stick with the Hunter skin for the moment, but which one of those would you actually end up using on your Ferox? Let me know down below. And, uh, yeah, what should we level? Huh. Maybe we should wait till it's transformed to level it, actually. It wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense to level it right now. Speaking of transformed, let's go ahead and turn this thing big. And I want pants on as well. And let me see. I need Helena's little store. Hello, Helena. Give me element, please. I will have one space. of the element. Thank you very much. Geo my little guy needs his fix. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. I love these things so much. And boom. Oh, here it goes. Oh, the hat. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, the hat is perfect. I love it. Oh, wow. This thing looks amazing in its uh, giant form with those colors. Dude, we got a really, really nice Ferox. All right. Well, let's uh, let's actually see how much... Uh, how good are the stats? 4,000 stamina is insane for some reason. My God, that melee damage. That is so high. I haven't even leveled anything on this yet. The health is a little bit lower than our last one, but they get a lot of health per level in this form. So, yeah. Come on, stupid RG. There's a Uteranus right there. We gotta go ahead and kill that. That thing's pretty close to the base. I don't like how close it is. Boom. I'm not doing very much damage right now. I think it's because they're mate boosted. There we go. Okay, let's get in here and just beat the crap out of this Uteranus. Throw rocks at his face. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh my God. He can 100% fear you. No, keep jumping. We can make him jump. We can make him jump away. This is perfect. I didn't know you could do that. And I'm latched. Amazing. All right, let's just stay here. <laughs> this is the best. Look at me, my little hat. Oh, wow. We can throw rocks back like this. Are you kidding me? Throwing rocks. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. You can just sit on walls and just throw rocks down at things. Are you kidding? Yes. Throw more. Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Come on. Boom. Oh my God. Yes. This is the greatest. All right. And you're dead. All right. You know what? Let's, uh, can, how do I get off the cliff? I can't actually figure that one out. Space doesn't help. Holding down space doesn't help. Control. I don't know how I actually get off the cliff. <laughs> I think we got to kind of like just jump. It's not working. Let me off. Okay. I guess we got to climb. Maybe I don't even understand what's happening. I feel like it's because we got fear Ward on the cliff that we can't get off of it now for some reason. I don't know if that's a thing, but maybe I'll just dismount and see what happens. Oh my God. Nothing can stand a chance against this Ferox. Maybe that Rhino can actually. He's doing quite a lot of damage to me. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? Let's just jump behind him. Or maybe not, because that's not happening. Okay, Rhino. I'm sorry. Oh, crap. <laughs> no. Rhino, please have mercy. I can't lose another Ferox. Let me go. <laughs> okay. Um, I Yeah, I, I feel like there's something wrong. I don't even know how this happened. I left render distance. And he started following me in the air like this. I, I, I don't, I don't know what's happening. How do I make this stop? <laughs> I'm so confused. 
Stop it. Whatever you're doing right now, I want you to stop. Let go of the cliff that's not there anymore. Uh, we were off. It wouldn't work a second ago. It wouldn't work. Oh my God. Get off the cliff. I don't ever want to go onto another cliff again. How do, how do I make it stop? Stop jumping onto cliffs. <laughs> what is up with the camera angle? I'm so confused. Jump off the cliff. How do I let go? It doesn't even make any sense. What is wrong with this camera? <laughs> I feel like the camera's backwards or something, guys. Like, this is so confusing. Like, look, I'm, it's, it's as if I'm in K mode, but I'm not. Okay, have, okay, wait, wait, let's, let's aim it to like something that's, okay, there we go. All right. All right. I think I'm going to have to log out because my camera's like sideways or backwards or something. Okay, so I want to head out and maybe try to tame something now. Um, I do have bolas on me, right? Uh, I only have two. I should probably craft a few more before we go. Let me see. Uh, let's just pull for like 10 and then get those crafted. I need stone. Oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> I guess, yeah, I don't really have much stone left. Or I guess any at all right now. I think I just turned the last of it into some spark powder, so that's great. All right, well, we needed like 30 stones, so let's just grab some extra anyway. Just break this whole rock. Sweet. All right. So I'm thinking what I want to tame is maybe a saber tooth because they have the really cool uh, X saber tooths in or saber teeth. What would you say? Saber tooths? Saber teeth. We're just going to call them that anyway. Uh, so they have those X variants on this map and they look fantastic. They really do. So I feel like I definitely want one of those. Let's just craft 18 because we already have two. Um, so there we go. Nice. I think think I should be probably able to find one around here. I've actually seen a few in the area. There was like a level six over here earlier. Um, I don't know if he's still here though. Let's see. Is he around here somewhere? I just kind of want to show him off just in case you guys have not seen the saber tooth in the, uh, in the X variation. Let's see. Do I see, what is that over there? A Therizino or something or a bear? I can't tell. Um, yeah, there's like a bunch of them just kind of around this area. This is close to where we lost our monkey a few episodes ago. If you guys remember that, uh, <laughs> I still, I still dream about it. It was horrifying. Um, so let's take a little look over here. Maybe, I don't know. I've definitely seen a few of them around the area. I just don't really see anything at all right now, actually, which is kind of weird because usually this area is popping with like a bunch of stuff. We got a Procoptodon down there, and an RG, and a Megaloceros, and nothing else really? I can't really tell. Oh, you know what? If there were a few Sabres, they probably went and attacked Mammoths and then died from that or whatever. Hello, Therizino. <laughs> I don't want to play. I don't want to play. Let's go this way. Let's just go this way. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe we should just take a little look around and just see if we can find one. That would be great. Uh, at the same time, I guess a little bit... I did, where is the Uteranus? Is he in here? Oh my god, why Why would you be afraid of him and then run right at him? I hardly could even see him there. That is so annoying. Okay, we're gonna be fine because he's on that Anki, but man, that is super annoying. Please don't fear roar me as soon as I lose this. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, do I have control? I have control. Let's go. Let's go this way. Stupid Uteranus, you stay away from me and my family. All right. Well, I think we're good. Um, let me see. What is this? Hello, Gigantopithecus. Uh, oh, I don't have my spyglass in my hot bar. Sweet. And then let's put some of our new food on as well. Uh, let me see. Level 54. All right, poop. Um, all right. Well, our base is back that way. So let's go this way. We got to find something to go ahead and tame. Um, a saber tooth definitely would be a really good tame, though. Something fast. It's pretty decent at uh, killing other things as well. Maybe we could tame like a little pack of them and maybe do some breeding at some point. I feel like we're going to do a lot of breeding in this series because obviously <laughs> the X variations look fantastic. They have like a different pattern on them. So it's going to be a lot better to like breed those guys and like check out mutations on them than the uh, regular like vanilla version. So I can't wait to do some of that. It's going to be great. Um, I literally don't see anything really. Like there's one thing over there. What is that? Procoptodon? Like, that's about it. Where the hell are all the creatures, man? <laughs> What's going around killing everything? Maybe somebody else is in the area. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else on the server lives nearby. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, crap. No! Stop attacking! No passive! Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? No, no. Concentrate. 
What? The freaking mammoths just started attacking me, man. That is so annoying. Oh my god. All right, well, at least it's not going to continue to attack my horse. I hope. I mean... Uh, I really hope it isn't. I imagine because it's completely deloaded, it's probably fine. Okay, so we're getting really close here. I can see my beam. I hope my horse isn't being killed. I assume it's not. Mammoths usually give up, right? I'm pretty sure they do. If I, I don't see any damage numbers, so that's like a good sign right now. All right. We got to lay down really quick. Let's get a little bit of stam back, and we're starting to start, but that's okay. We're very close. And my horse is... Where's my horse? Oh no, I left the skins on. Wait, wait I just saw the name. Where, where was the name? Oh, there it is. Okay. There you are, Purple Rain. Oh my god, I thought you died for a second. I don't have a tribe yet, so I kind of thought for a second there, like, oh my god, like, maybe not having a tribe means that it doesn't show up or something. I don't know. Got me very confuzzled. All right, so... I saw a saber tooth back here, but I feel like it might have died to some chalice, so I feel like I kind of want to go back and just check just in case because it was fighting some chalice, but it looked as if it was kind of getting the upper hand. So I want to just take a look at that and just see if um if we can maybe tame him if he is still alive. I mean, and if he is alive, he's probably going to be super hurt. So I feel like maybe it's not going to be a thing, but still, you know what? If he's hurt, we could just trap him and drag some creatures in. Yeah, I want to go check that. Well, oh my, are you kidding? We're good, right? I was about to say, and then we just got freaking Microraptor. You stupid thing. I'm going to pull out my rifle and shoot you directly in the face. You're going to die, buddy. Oh my God. You made me miss. All right, hang on. Oh my God, that didn't even kill him. All right, let's just punch him then. <laughs> there we go. He's dead. Oh God, he turned into a helicopter. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, before I was really interrupted, that the chalets are still here, so that probably means that the Saber lost the little battle. Um, man, that sucks. That really does. It was a really pretty looking Saber. Oh, there it is. Uh, oh my god, they're throwing poop at me. Dude, I'm sorry for looking at the dead Saber. Jesus. Okay. Oh, there's a date on too. Everything's terrible. What the hell, man? I just wanted to look at the dead Saber. Look at it. It's so pretty, though. It would have been a great tame. I already know what I'm going to be calling it. We'll go over that later once we have one. How did I miss that? All right. What level were you? 102. Ugh, it was a terrible level, but I mean, it was really pretty looking. I miss him. All right. Let's keep looking. Okay. Well, we got a 138 down there. Uh, It's not the best level, but I guess we could probably go for it. Let me see. How, how do we get down there without like killing the horse? <laughs> I guess we could just like jump and then just dismount before we land and now oh no 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 okay oh this is death oh my god how did i not die oh crap no we're gonna die though oh oh my god okay horse come to me no this is i'm too low health to oh my oh no 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 the avalanche is gonna kill me no 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 oh my god Okay, I'm running. <laughs> oh, that did not go to plan. This is where we used to live, by the way, in case you don't recognize the area. There was never Uteranuses down in this area, so that's just terrifying right now. Um, oh my god, that was so bad. I could have died. <laughs> oh, at least the horse would have been in a safe spot, but that avalanche was freaking coming for me, man. It was coming for me. All right, well, there's the there's the saber. Um, I want to bring it back here because I don't want it like running towards the... Oh, there's another saber up there. Hello. Let me see. Oh, ooh, a 168, and that's a male, and it looks so cool. We need to name it Dexter. I was thinking, you know, because I've seen a couple of the Sabres so far, and they, they kind of look like my cat, just slightly. Well, one of my cats. I got two. Uh, you can check them out on Instagram if you want to. Um, Syntec YT on there. By the way, you should actually follow the Instagram. I think we're, like, just on the verge of uh, 20K followers right now, so it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, this kind of like looks like Dexter just a little bit. I mean, I don't, not exactly, you know, Dexter doesn't exactly look like this, but uh, Dexter is a Bengal cat, which is kind of like these, these like little uh, patterns and stuff like this. Um, I don't know. It's probably best if you just see him. So go over and take a look and uh, let me know what you think. We need to name the Saber Dexter though, for sure. Uh, let me see. 
let me see if i can get it to be downhill from me and if i can be like uphill or something oh crap no okay are we are we good here okay you know what can we go further is the avalanche gonna like hit us when we're up here you know what we probably shouldn't be taming him up here because if i have him knocked out and then the avalanche comes i'm pretty sure that it's gonna like kill him or whatever oh okay Ooh. all right we're all right we're all right um yeah that might ruin the taming effectiveness so we got to get him completely out of this area we might also tame this other one here that could be good it's running from me does it know an avalanche is coming or something i don't understand what's happening all right never mind come on come on follow me hey the two of you all right here we go we just don't want to run into that uteranus down there okay we gotta watch out for this thing uh okay they're still following me we're good we're good uh so avalanches usually come like right all the way down here so it's really not the best spot to be doing this in but if we stick to this side which is where we had our little base before we might be able to get them all right so what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna bola them i mainly just want this one for the moment i kind of don't really want to be taming the two of them at once you know what i'm just gonna start uh kicking the crap out of this one all right so we can use elena to check out the torpor level let's just keep kicking the crap out of him right now let's test it again there we go he's up by a good amount of torpor but he's still got a lot to go just kick the crap out of him constantly it's unfortunate because he's uh he's mate boosted right now so that's uh that's kind of ruining it slightly all right we'll let him run away just a little we won't let him go too far and then we'll bowl him again and then try that we can't bolo just yet because there's like a bit of a cooldown timer. All right. I'll hit him a couple more times right now. Okay. This is non-mate boosted damage right now. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. And ooh, I can't get around the stupid rock. Let me back up. All right. There we go. Probably would have been better just to kill the other one. All right. There we go. This is working out well. You can do that by hitting H, by the way. Uh, H for Lena. <laughs> there we go. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good. But we're not going to be able to knock it out completely just yet. Okay. We got to check that again. Oh, we're doing more damage than Torpor right now, which is kind of bad. Yeah, it's already down by a huge amount of health. Okay, it needs to eat something that's dead. Would it be best to give it? Hmm. I don't know okay Ooh. oh my god no no they're doing too much damage oh my god no okay avalanche is bad oh no no the horse is gonna freaking die okay i'm just running this way i don't care we're just running we're running we're running we gotta heal this freaking horse now damn it dude okay we should just kill this other one because it's just getting in the way it's getting annoying um we should totally just kill the purple one unless i could completely separate them which it seems to be happening right now there's another horse right there. You weren't there before, were you? I don't think it was. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, don't hit me, please. You do so much damage. It's crazy. All right, let me let me see if I can get it to come up this way. Okay. Can you follow me this way? I don't think you can. All right. Oh, my God. The horse is so hurt, though. Let's go get some berries for it really quick. There we go. Just a little bit for the moment. Okay. Oh, crap. No, no. Oh, what the? No. Okay. <sighs> okay, the horse is too hurt. I got to put it up here. My God. Yeah, I should have just killed the other one earlier. That was a really dumb idea, having the two of them follow me. Mate boosted ones and everything. Um. All right. We got we to gotta tame this thing. I might have to try and trap it. The horse has got to stay up here, though, because, like, there's no way. Like, it's one hit, and it's going to be dead. Like, it actually almost died just there, which is the worst. Um, oh, man. Okay. Let's see. I'll go get you some berries there, buddy. Purple rain. you would be okay. All right. You know what? Let's quickly just make some trank arrows, and we'll just attempt this with some trank arrows for the moment. Um, let's make, like, 100. I think I have the narcotic in. I apparently don't have narcotic inside of the horse. I thought I brought some. Oh, my God. Did I actually forget? Oh, I totally did, didn't I? Oh, we can make a one. We can make one. Never mind. Um, all right. Let's see. We're on like 80 health right now, so we can't really do too much. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, we got to watch out for our horse's safety and health first. So 
We're gonna have to probably uh, attempt that in just a little bit after we heal this horse up. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> Freaking avalanche came immediately. All right, let's see. I wanted to try and bola the saber. I kicked it a couple more times, but I think now it's just at the stage where it's just constantly running from me. I need it to be in an area where it's not going to get hurt when I knock it. So, oh, it's actually chasing me now. Oh, that's good. Or was it? No, apparently it was running, but it ran towards me to run away from me. That's kind of weird, buddy. Why don't you maybe not do that? That's also, you know, acceptable. Hopefully there's some sheep around here. We can actually go ahead and get some mutton. There's usually sheep in this area. I mean, did live here for a couple days, so... Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Oh, my God. There's no avalanches over here. We're good, buddy. We are good. Dexter, you're going to be mine. All right, let me see. How's your torpor? Okay, we got to just kick the crap out of him. We can knock him, though. Don't worry. Okay, a couple more times. Got to watch out for that rhino, actually. If that gets too close, it's going to be bad for us. Hey, there we go. Nice. Oh, my God. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and put that away. Oh, yes. Okay. So, we got the saber down. Dexter. It looks exactly like him. Oh, my God. Let's see. Um, all right. We're going to find a sheep. There's usually sheep here, like I said. But I don't know if there is actually one right now, though. Because there was that Euteranus, and he could have went ahead and ate all the sheep. But I will try and find one. I know where one is, but it's probably going to be too hard to get to right now. So if I can't find one here, I guess I can just go back and try to go to the one where... It's basically, um, I'm going to probably have to go around that way, this way right here. And go all the way around that giant mountain thing and go through a cave. And then there's a sheep up there, basically. Um, oh my god, there's a bunch of dead sabers here. Jesus, maybe that was that Euteranus that killed them. All right, well, I'm going to look around anyway and see if we can find one. Hopefully we can. That would be amazing. Hey, there we go. We got him. All right. <laughs> I was just, like, messing around with this dead sheep. Uh, so, Dexter. There we go. Nice. I actually found a sheep, and then another one wandered right down. Where? There it is. It, like, walked by just a few minutes ago. Um, so, there just seems to be just a crap ton of them in the area. Although, I don't remember that one being up there, so I... Maybe he just spawned in or something. I don't even understand. But anyway, we got Dexter. Oh my god, look at you. You are beautiful. I went ahead and actually bought a cryopod using some hexagons. They only cost 500, so like it's eh, it's kind of worth it. We have uh, two now in total. So we have the one that we have the Ferox in. And then we obviously have this one now as well. I'm just going to quickly harvest this guy up before we go though. Um, I did not bring a saddle, which I really should have done. So we're going to have to head back to base, but it's not too far. Don't worry. It's literally just like right up that hill there. Um, and then we will be back there. You know what? That's probably way more mutton than I'm going to be able to cook up on time, but it's okay. Oh my God. I was going back for some metal and I just noticed that freaking Ther Therizino is like following me. Oh, dude. Why? Leave me alone. What did I even do to you? They just target me. I'm telling you, like, look at him. It's just on like a war path for me. Oh, is it still? Okay, I thought it was still after me. Yeah, I just like, I saw that metal note and I was like, oh, you know what? I should grab some metal on the way back because I need to cook some more. And, and then he just, I just noticed that thing following me. That was terrifying. Oh, okay. Lucky I didn't hop off my mount because I'd be dead and I feel like the horse would be too. Are we, are we safe now? Like that there, he's not going to come over here, is he? Hopefully not. Ooh, Okay. And I'm completely weighed down. Uh, Pelt can go in there. Sweet. Alrighty. We still have a dead body in here. It's been there for ages. Oh, my God. Apparently, I have that timer up a little bit too high. Uh, let's go ahead and put that on the hot bar. And saber saddle. We can actually already make it. Sweet. All right. Um, where's that metal? Okay. I want to chuck that into my forge. I got to, like, properly set stuff up in here because it's kind of a bit of a mess right now. But, uh. I'll do that at some stage later, maybe. Um, I'll probably just chuck the rest of this crap in here. You know what? Maybe I'll just let all the mutton spoil because I don't really feel like sitting around a campfire for, like, ages. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of cooking mutton when I don't have a grill, so maybe we'll just wait for a grill and then just cook tons and tons of it. All right. So, wait. I didn't even I didn't even grab my saber saddle, did I? Uh, saber saddle. Amazing. And let's go ahead and chuck this out. 
Hello, Dexter. All right. Let me put your saddle on really quick there, buddy. Look at you. Oh, man. All right. So I'm just going to chuck the mutton onto the horse for the moment. So here we go. Boom. And I'm going to put the horse over here. This is kind of like my little space for my dinos. Um, <laughs> I feel like they're less likely to get attacked. I might even be able to put a fence foundation here and just put a little door there or something. I don't know. Just something to stop them from being able to get in, like the wild creatures. But yeah, let's give this a go then. So the saber looks fantastic, unfortunately. There's nothing different really about it. It's literally just a reskin. Well, I guess it apparently it has like a resistance uh, to damage or something like that uh, in exchange for slightly lower base health. So that's not too bad. But anyway, let's let's take a little look and uh, see what Dexter could do. All right. Where are the creatures? There's... Oh, that's a huge Tyrannus. Fear roaring some stuff. We don't want to really go over there. So let's like run up this way instead. Is that... What is that over there? Is that a glitch? I don't remember there being a glitch over there. Let's go check that out. Oh, man. I love jumping on the sabers because you just like bounce really far. All right. Let's actually go get that glitch really quick. I don't remember seeing that glitch there, though. It's very strange to... Oh, you know what? I don't think I've actually been down this way. All right. Uh, we're not being chased, are we? I think we're good. Um... Boom. Boom. All right. Very interesting, Helena. <laughs> I feel like those notes are kind of like leading towards something. Um, obviously, I know some of the story already, but there's probably some hidden details that I'm going to hear at some point. I want to try and include some of those. I feel like we're not going to end up like seeing all of those on camera, but because um, I mean, I've definitely looked at like three or four off cam <laughs> since the last episode. I can't even catch this freaking horse. There we go. But um, yeah, I don't know. I want to include quite a lot of them if I can, because they, they do lead towards something. You know, there there is a story on here. And I feel like that right there is such a better way of doing it instead of giving us a bunch of explore notes because, you know, most people don't even bother reading them. I mean, hell, I haven't even read half of them anyway. I just, you know, I know the story because I've like read like summaries and stuff on it, but I haven't read through all of the explore notes themselves, which is something that I probably should do considering what I do every single day. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'd get rid of, you know what, let's just drop the pelt. That way we can actually continue to run. Um, let's see. Let's go for some melee right now. We didn't really get two greats of a, of a stat layout here. We, we kind of got like a, not, not a great melee, quite a low melee in fact. Um, and then I think the health is, I, I feel like that's kind of like average ish. I feel like the stamina on this thing is better. I know stamina on sabers is usually quite trash, but I don't know. I feel like it's quite good on this one. Uh, what is that? Is that another dead syntax? When was this from? Oh, yeah, that was from earlier. Okay, now I remember. I just, I didn't know exactly where we were. There's actually another glitch up there. I wonder if I can go get that one as well. You see, the glitches are great because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, like, the little hexagon points and stuff like that. We can get more of those from doing missions, which I definitely want to be checking out at some point very, very soon. I feel like maybe in the next episode we might check out a couple little missions or something like that. Uh, can I fight the Giganto? I feel like we probably can let's do it um so yeah i want to do some missions for sure because like I, I i think it's a great idea actually i just i don't know how well it's gonna go over in videos that's the only thing but i feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting enough and uh time consuming enough to really like keep people playing this dlc you know because you gotta complete all of the missions to complete the uh final boss on alpha difficulties so yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are probably just going to try to play through every single one of them. Um, okay. We got a direwolf right here. We can probably fight it. Hello. You're a 168 direwolf. Ooh. Let's go ahead. Cat versus dog. The ultimate battle. I feel like a cat's going to win. Oh my god, no. Cat's being assisted by... Or dog's being assisted by pig. <laughs> 
Oh crap, it's the ultimate team up. Okay, let's run. <laughs> let's run this way. Uh, are we gonna be good? We should be good. I just, I really don't want to fight a Daedon. Uh, it's still following me. Oh, you know what? That's the glitch right over there. Okay, you know what? How that? Okay, I, I, I just suck apparently. You know what? I guess we, we can probably kill the Daedon. It's only level 30. I wish the Saber had like a different attack or something, you know? I feel like, you know, if you guys didn't know, by the way, like, because I know Ark is a game that's been around for years now. And sometimes I look back and I'm like, oh, that seems kind of recent. Most people know about that. But, um, you know, like it has been around for like almost five years now. Right. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are watching right now probably actually started maybe playing or watching in the last year or so. I mean, like it seems to be that this, this game is just constantly gaining popularity i mean it, it doesn't really seem to be dropping at all uh what is happening what was that noise i don't know what that was but um yeah so i don't know exactly how many people know but the saber tooth did get a tlc uh a long time ago i think it was about two and a half years ago almost now um and it was the first creature to get a proper tlc it got a full new model which was very interesting and uh, i don't think i can get up there <laughs> i feel like i might have to I might have to get up there through like that little cliffside or whatever off that mountain. I don't know exactly. But um, yeah, the Sabretooth got a TLC and it used to look really ugly. If you have not seen it, you should look it up because it's really, really, really ugly. The only thing that they changed with it really was the model, unfortunately. Um, and then obviously a few years ago, uh, two years ago, in fact, actually, they did a TLC on, I think, 10 creatures, maybe 11. And they all got like new moves, new everything. But the Saber was, got it before all of them and he didn't get anything new at all. That is a really cool looking dodo. So, um, yeah, it kind of sucks. I feel like at some point they should maybe just give it like an extra little attack or something. I don't even know. I feel like a Saber Tooth would probably do some sort of like bleed or something like that. Like a, uh, the same kind of effect, I, I, get, I guess, as like an aloe maybe. I don't even know. Or like some sort of group bonus pack bonus whatever they're called i feel like it would get something like that at least but yeah it doesn't have anything right now um let me go ahead and get rid of all this pelt that is ridiculous it was so much pelt oh my god all right so yeah the saber such an awesome looking creature especially on here but oh man it's just uh it's so basic <laughs> yeah that's how we get up there by the way it looks like we have to probably maybe go around the mountain somehow and get up there you know i feel like them choosing to disable flyers by default on here was a good idea because you could just fly around and get all those glitches really easily but now you know i guess if you have are we gonna be good oh no oh my god jesus oh crap okay i don't want to go down the hill with it <laughs> oh my god dude that was terrifying i thought i was gonna be shoved all the way down uh, but anyway um, yeah, the flyer is being disabled. Uh, but if you have like a good blood stalker or blood stalker, you yeah, know, that is what they're called. What the hell's wrong with me? Uh, if you have him or like a good ferox or whatever, uh, you could easily get around it and find them. But I find, I would say like with a flyer, you'd probably be able to just go around and get them in like half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. Cause they'd be really easy to spot with them. So yeah, I, I feel like it was a good idea to disable flyers in a sense at the same time i also don't agree with it because they added in super cool looking flyers and we can't even use them at all like the rg which kind of sucks i know quite a lot of people have been commenting saying oh just to say or just enable it and everything i personally don't really want to and i talked about that i believe in the last episode there's a lot of creatures here and i'm scared oh they're they're howling let's run that's something that I don't really want to do, so I won't be doing that, but I feel maybe like towards the end of the series, it might be acceptable to do that. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I think I just want to run back this way because, yeah, this area is kind of scary and there's like a lot of things around. Maybe we can kill this wolf here. Oh, there's two wolves. And there's those wolves back there as well. Let's see if we can fight these guys. They're doing a good amount of damage to me. No, no, no. We can't fight them. Uh oh, let's just jump. If we can jump away. Oh, oh, oh. We gotta keep jumping and running. They're still chasing me? Oh, there's a date on there. Oh, this is bad. I need to get up and around somewhere. Oh my god. Hopefully, they'll aggro onto that horse instead. 
I think we'll be good. We should be good. I could probably just cryopod it. Because I don't want the saber to die. We lose too many creatures in the same episode that we tame them, so... Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Okay. And they're probably coming towards me now. Alright, let's run and jump back this way. Oh, dude. This place is rough. I gotta get out of here. Oh, man. Alright, we're safe. We're safe. Whew. That was scary. That definitely was a little bit scary back there. <laughs> they can't really get up and around this hill, I don't think. Yeah, we're good. Oh, dude. Oh, hello, Ice Golem. Oh, come on. Stupid level up animation. Oh, God. <laughs> hello. <laughs> dude, what the hell? Why are you here? <laughs> Why did they put you on here? Oh, man. All right. I think we can get away. We're going to be fine. Don't worry. Those things do a lot of damage, though, so I definitely would not have wanted to take a hit by that. Like, it probably would have done maybe, like, 300 damage. The the giant rocks, they really hurt. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll just force feed for just a little bit here while we're kind of in a safe-ish area. I think, at least. Okay, so now we're, uh, we're running away from an avalanche. Arc does not get much better than this. Look at that. Okay, well, we completely outran it, like, by far. But, yeah, I don't know. I thought that would be an exciting moment. Oh, man. All right, where is home? I think it's this way. So, guys, I think that's probably going to be it for today. If you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And I'll be seeing you in the next one.